Hi guys, today we are going for super speedy, super quick, short little um, kind of core workout. If like me at the moment you're struggling to fit everything in and you're generally working out or flowing just little short snippets of time, then this should be perfect. Between five and ten minutes just to really get deep into the core, get fired up, feel a little bit of a burn. You don't need anything apart from a block, a brick, um, if you don't have one of these then you could use a book or a pillow, just an object that's pretty firm, pretty sturdy um, and that you can use in your flow. So we're going to get started, just before we do start, just because we're working on the core, just really think about core engagement at all times, think about breathing, so make sure you don't hold your breath, that you're breathing. You might notice when you're really concentrating on the core, that you start to tense or tighten the shoulders, the neck, because it might come a little bit tough. Just think about really softening, being gentle to your body. Just remember, if it's too much or you need to take it down a level, then do that at all times. Don't force and don't push anything at all. Remember not to practice with ego and make sure you are being kind to yourself at all times. So to start, we're just gonna come down on to our back. So take the back flat against the floor, but still maintaining that natural curve of the spine. So when the core engages, the back naturally flattens just a little bit. It can feel like you're trying to zip your jeans up, so you're sucking the navel into the core. What we don't want is the pelvis to alter, and we put a big arch in the back that's just going to put strain on your back, and it means that you've lost that core engagement. So for this first exercise, we take the legs up, either doing it with straight legs or bent legs if it's a little bit too much. We're just going to transfer the brick and the block between the hands and the feet. So we're doing like V-sits or jackknives. We're taking them down, we're coming up, swapping it out, taking it down, up, swapping it out. Remember if you need to alter it, taking it between the knees. And maybe just taking the legs out a little bit. So we're just taking about 10 reps here. Again, just taking it to your level, what works for you. And then resting here. Just taking a breather for a moment. We want to aim to do about three sets all together. I'll just take you through one round of each exercise. So, taking a breather here before we move on to our next exercise. Trying to get the core fired up, the core nice and warm. For the next exercise, we're gonna come into a plank pose and we're gonna be swapping the bricks between the hands. So coming into a plank pose. So if you're with me in high plank, take the hands about shoulder width apart. Take the feet about hip width apart and really engage into the core. If you need to stay on the knees, then keeping the upper body in this position. So shoulders, elbows and wrists are in one line. We're just going to take the brick from one hand to another. So starting on the left hand side, I'm going to take the right hand, bring the plant, a block over to the right, the left to the left. Three, keep breathing. Four, we're trying to keep the hips nice and sturdy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Rest it out. Okay, that's exercise number two. For exercise number three, Just going to come down on to all fours from here. You're going to place the brick, the block, the cushion just on to the midsection of your back. So just above, above, sorry, the butt on the lower back. So starting in your tabletop position, we're going to press into the hands, press into the feet. We're just going to start to hover the knees away from the floor. The reason we put the block on the lower back is just to maintain a nice straight natural spine. If you start rounding up or if you start tilting over at the hips, 
You're going to lose that block. If you do lose that block, just place it back on, just start again. So pressing into the hands and feet. We inhale, lift. We exhale, lower. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, we hold for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, and lower. Do that again, so inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, and release. Losing the block. Just moving however it feels good. I can feel it really deeply in my core already. That's good. Okay, for the next exercise, we're gonna come in to some side plank dips. So, you have the option to come down onto the knees or to come and stay on the toes, sorry, on the feet. If you're on the feet, just stacking one foot in front of the other. If we need to come down onto the bottom knee, then just staying here. If we need to come down onto both knees, then staying here. I'm going to take from a side plank, so taking the hand up as you can, or just taking the hand onto the side, we dip down for one, for two, for three, for four, for five, six, seven, Eight, two more, nine, and ten. Oh, release. Take it over to the other side. This is really great for getting in to those obliques working into the side body. So taking it over onto the other side, finding that stability. And take one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten, and release. Whew. Stay with me. This is a little bit tough, but just make sure you are breathing, you are moving with your breath. Nice conscious movements. Okay, we can now come in to our boat pose. So there's an option here to use the block just to place the seat on it, just to add that little bit of instability, or you can stay flat on the floor without the block of brick, the book, it's entirely up to you, but we'll show you on the block. So coming into your boat pose, you have options here, you can take the hands down by the sides, place the hands behind the legs, or you can take the hands straight out in front, so whatever level you need to take. We're keeping the chest and the shoulders nice and open, trying to keep the spine as long as we can. So trying to bring the chest and the thighs as close as we can to each other, trying to prevent the roll of the shoulders, but really take the shoulders open. So finding that boat pose. Now you can hold it here with that balance if that's enough, or come with me and do one, do two, three, keep breathing, four, keep smiling, Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Hold it here. Three, the two, and one. Releasing the, just taking a breather here. For a moment, we are going to take one more exercise, and then we are done. So coming up into our downward facing dog. We're just gonna take some crunches here. So bringing the nose and the knee together. So we inhale, we float the right leg up. As we exhale, bring nose to knee, knee to nose. Exhale back. Do two. Do three. Four. Five, six. Remembering to round into the shoulders, really draw that navel into the spine. Eight, 
two more, nine, and ten, hold for three, for two, for one, float that leg back up, same on the left, so left leg comes up, inhale, exhale, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten, hold for three, for two, for one, and release, drop down onto the knees, cross over at the ankles, come over on to your back, bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a big hug, squeeze everything in, rocking from side to side, if that feels good. Now that is enough of a workout on its own. Short and snappy, you can do it in just a few minutes, if you did want to make it into a bit of a longer workout, like I said, then maybe aim to three for three to four rounds. I'm out of breath just by doing that one. Or leave it there just as a finisher, or as I say, a just, little, just a little core burner, a little workout as and when you can squeeze it in. Just showing you how you can fit in exercise when you just have a few minutes. So please remember to be kind to yourself to listen to your body and just to flow with no ego, with no preconceptions and practice that self-kindness. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, then give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe and I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Namaste.